Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another video. We got Blood and Makeup Part 3 on 3, Not For Kids by Brandon Rogers. So this is the final part of the Scary Clown. Let's get into this right now. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't miss another upload on this channel. Make sure you watch the original video link down below and subscribe to Brandon. Let's do this shit right now. It's 21 minutes, so... I'm going to do this without pausing because it's a long video. So, yeah, let's get it in three, two, one. Let's finish this. By the way, I've seen part one in part one on my own time, and I did react to part two. So I know what's coming. A kid's television host is the prime suspect in four grisly Los Angeles murders. Clowns are extremely temperamental. If you happen upon one, laugh at their jokes. Unpopular opinion here, but I don't think Eddie's guilty. Are you kidding me? Everyone knows clowns are killers. They're just talking minds that walk through walls at best. I think you have your head up your ass. Must be. <laughs> this documentary is awesome, by the way. My fellow Americans, I have been made aware of the tragic events taking place in California this past week. But let this not distract us from my re-election this November. How do we expect this country to be great again when we allow cock-sucking murder clowns to entertain what? our children? I love you! I know, just do it! You saw that shit? That bitch cut his hands off. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck that, we're taking this table with us. Hold still. Please just stop showing that day. You cut off my fingers, you bitch. Well, if you weren't moving so much. Just finish the job. Oh. If you give me a second term, I'll be sure to clean up all the people Run, run. In the first one. Ah. That's because I believe the only clowns that deserve American freedoms are the ones in the Senate. We thought we'd lost those little shit stains. Officials have no whereabouts of the fugitives currently, but are advising residents to lock their doors and stay inside. These two assholes could it's basically, be basically, uh, a Corona flint. and quarantine. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Four bodies were found last night. The victims' faces were painted like clowns. Ladies and dicks, we're dealing with the goddamn psychopath. I didn't know what hell was until I met Blah Blah the Clown. You do not want this man entertaining your children. Officials yes. say what was written in blood were the yes. words of a real doo doo mouth. Look at him! That look like the face Hideous. of a crazy person! Hideous. Blood makeup, the last laugh of Blah Blah the Clown. I remember like it was yesterday, mostly because it was. <laughs> I was sitting in my car, eating my concha like normal. That's when I saw the two of them round in the corner. I said, oh my God, that boy ain't got no hands. I tried giving him a Mexican pad for his wrist, but then the girl said, give me your car. I said, excuse me? Then she proceeded to brand theft out of me out of my vehicle. Then they drove off in my car, leaving me on the ground to finish my concha. Hmm, I hope they crash. Well, we just crashed, kids, but that's all right. They actually they crashed, and <laughs> it's we Facebook. Believe it. This crazy fuck was broadcasting his show on the run. On Facebook, on the run, bruh. And yes, he is a crazy fuck, honestly. Hey, how can I help you? My name's Don. I'm Dave. I'm Dick. And we're brothers. Hello, boys. My pal ain't feeling too hot. You think you can lend the clouds some hands? Holy shit, this guy needs to see a doctor. You'll do no such thing. He's gonna bleed out. Not if you give me the tools to build him new hands. <laughs> you can't just build someone new hands, bitch. Oh, fuck you. I build puppets for a living, and I'll build what goes up their ass. That'll be 306.54. Run this, dumbass. Look at that stupid haircut. That stupid way you slide that card like it's through an ass crack. She, she hates them. I am them. getting word that the card has in fact been declined. That's embarrassing and they should be embarrassed. Here, take some chocolate, asshole. We don't have any money. <laughs> That's right. Oh, we got a couple of grab and goes. We don't take kindly to thieves. What do you say we show them what we do with thieves? <laughs> I'm scared for you. We located the hardware store in Hawthorne, Nevada. But by the time we got there, all three employees, Dick, Dank, and Daniel... Whatever their names were. Dead? Were already murdered. Yup. Three more bodies were found last night. The victims' faces were painted like clowns. Do you know how it feels to keep getting to the murder scene after the murder has happened? Yeah, the 
I guess that's my job. Blah not feeling too well today, kids. <laughs> but don't worry, I have all the tools to make him feel better. We knew exactly where to find him. And bonus, I had gas in my car. Freak assholes. Hands in the air. Drop those knives. These knives are my hands, bitch. Distraction! Where? Pussy attack! This pussy is tough on crime. Run, Eddie! I had no choice but Run. to ankle with my actual pussy. <laughs> I had Eddie's hoe in custody. That little maggot was alone and on the run. All that titty baby knows to do is run away. This was now a nationwide manhunt. Oh God, Which the is mother. Why I'm deploying a federal SRT team to bring in this clown, commanded by American You're hero. Dead. You're dead. You're dead. Sucker. Hey, I'm the ten cock sucker. Yeah, that's my name. Today I'm targeting <laughs> this clown homo with these robotic molester claws. I fucking hate clowns, sir. They're un-American. God, I got the best men a cock sucker could ask for. On today episode we're outrunning the US military What which gonna be a real doozy Get out of the lake you candy cane cock Yeah what are you gonna do about it fast though Get your hands off me you cocksuckers For all I care my son is guilty and they can let him swing Accused serial killer Eddie Oswald is standing trial today and would you look at those ridiculous claws in the handcuffs and it doesn't help his case that his attorney is a piece of shit My client is innocent but if he was guilty he would murder each and every one of you fuckers for not believing him His lawyer had some compelling arguments but then I heard that prosecutor Where were you the night of the murder you guilty fuck Guilty Now I know what that word meant I needed to start paying attention. His mother was humping on John Wayne Gacy. Language. I'm from fucking Dex. I'll allow it. I never fucked John Wayne Gacy. What? I blew him between killings, but that was hot then. Daniel Watch. Clemens, a close friend of Oswald, Anthony! was the only to speak in his defense. You people are putting away an innocent man. You know those two were butt buddies, right? <laughs> those two were friends. Was ultimately yep. the testimony of one individual that would determine the verdict. You're probably wondering how I got that clever little neck brace. Well, I made the mistake of visiting Eddie the day before the trial. I just sincerely hope you find the help you deserve, Eddie. That is the man who tried to kill you in this room right now. Yes. Yes? Could you point him out to us? Eddie was always such a good boy with a big heart. He's clearly someone who. Needs He's like, help, oh my fucking god. If it, uh, if it pleases the court, I am willing to put up the funds to find Eddie the care that he needs. I was sold as soon as I heard funds. Mr. Butler kindly paid for a life sentence at Bremer Asylum, where we keep our patients laughing. <laughs> I'm Dr. Linda, and at the Bremers Asylum, we don't deal with our patients. Not even if they ask. We are one legitimate ass operation. I if guess we this is where Eddie is going to be. In. I just hope the good doctors at the Bremer Asylum can help rehabilitate the young man. He was like a son to me. Los Angeles can rest easy knowing that another short fused shithead is off the streets. Do I think Eddie did it? I'm not paid to think, I'm paid to judge. And my judgment is that I think he's guilty. It's hard to move forward from something like this, but the Blah Blah Bars will be in stores in a week, so I've decided to put my clown shoes back on and be the new Blah Blah. Tomorrow's a special day, because the new Blah Blah Bar is coming to you! Do I think I did a good job? Well, I let evidence do the thinking. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so careful about the evidence I select. Oh man. I just want my car back. I sincerely hope the world learns from a story like this. Because all of it could have been prevented. I mean, three days after the completion of this documentary, our producer received a, vo a voicemail from Daniel. Hey, Daniel from the doc. I hope this reaches you in time. When I heard Penny Brooks' his car's evidence, I dug through a trash and found what. I believe proves that he's innocent. Hours later, we send a camera OP to Daniel's home, where follow the following occurred. Hey man, it's 
just you, right? Yeah, it's just me. Okay, thanks for coming. Come on, come on, get in, get in, get in. I've been taking oh your evidence for three days straight, and I can prove without a shadow of a doubt. Seventy-two hours, no sleep. Did not kill wow. a single person. There is a mound of evidence you are choosing to overlook. What is it you do again? I'm a cameraman. <laughs> and that wow. Is listen to a human tripod. <laughs> Cameras are important. Not unless I supply evidence. I have evidence. Hold on. I knew I had to wow. take my own hands. First of all, none of these deaths make any sense. The only thing connecting them together is Eddie Oswald. And he wasn't even there when the first death happened. Why would Deborah kill herself with a hand mirror when there are so many other more useful weapons in that room? Oh, and what about that cop that Eddie allegedly killed in the shitter? He was the only one on the force that believed he was innocent. I am Eddie Oswald's number one fan, and I can tell you for a fucking fact that he's innocent. Bro, it's nine in the morning. Why would Eddie kill the only cop that believed he wasn't guilty? What about what's his face with his head in the box? Eddie told him and his husband to get what's out of with the house, box? But no one's curious about what happened after Eddie followed them outside. Everyone just wrote it off that the house had no exterior surveillance. But the house across the street did. You can clearly see here that Eddie runs out to Rick and Ronnie's car before they leave, and he begins apologizing profusely. So why would Eddie cut off his head? So then I realized there must be something else connecting all of these murders other than Eddie. The blah blah blah. If you read the ingredients list in the back, you'll find the last ingredient is something called Halifax Herbosis, or Ha Ha for short. Halifax Herbosis was a drug manufactured in the 80s that makes you hallucinate that everyone's a clown. Sounds delightful, right? Yeah, it does. Wrong, asshole. 90% of test subjects suffer So the blah blah bars are evil? Fits of rage. Turns out it was manufactured in a facility run by one Dr. Linda. That's right. Now I know what she meant when she said, We keep our patients laughing. <laughs> but even more strangely, another familiar face was in the room. Cassandra Butler was a student of Dr. Linda before abruptly getting fired. What the fuck make you go that goddamn deep? You're fired, bitch. Pack your shit and file this secret ass formula on your way out. I'm gonna steal this on my way out and make a fortune. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. As she left the facility, she stole the formula of Halifax Harbosis and began a new life of making candy and getting so married. But stealing formulas comes with a price. Oh. Flatten the bitch. After Cassandra's death, Linda became the primary investor to Butler's Sweets and Such, letting it appear as if a clown can maintain a corporation. But why would she do this? So my guess that's of regaining her formula wow. on the surface again. But Clive didn't know of the violent effects Halifax Harbosis could have on most people. So the see, people like Eddie, Wendy, Clive, and Cassandra love clowns, so they would naturally love the high. But most people don't. Everyone knows clowns are killers. Extremely temperamental. Oh, I hate clowns. And for them, the side effects were Wow. Fun. Deborah Tomlin's neighbor said she was alone the night of the murder. You bet your ass she took one look in the mirror and saw so, a clown staring back. And what about Officer Ramirez? I pulled up the last five minutes of his body cam footage. So yeah, the haha -ha and the blah blah bars are evil. Yeah, it's here. Let me close the door. Thank you. Uh, hey, look, I'm your biggest fan, and I just wanted to let you know that I know you're innocent. You think I'm innocent? He's pissing. Yeah, of course. On the floor. Thanks, like man. literally just turned around. Here, why don't you have a blah blah bar? Oh, whoa! Hey, get the store soon. You're gonna I'm enjoy the starving. Them. Oh, hey, actually, from time, how are you here? I just have a couple questions about the show. Can I pick your brain for a sec? Oh sh! This goes on for a minute. Are you a clown? Hmm? I'm a clown. So this chocolate makes you see that too, huh? I'll never be as good a clown as you. Oh, don't say that. I Oh my god. And then there's Rick and Ronnie. If you look carefully, you can see Eddie handing them what is later confirmed to be a blah blah bar when they uploaded their last fashion vlog later that night. What's up, everybody? Home raw, young, dumb, and full of calm. Wait, are you seriously eating chocolate after 4 p.m.? What the fuck are you trying to say? Married life, am I right? Sorry about that, guys. Married life, am I right? Today we're talking about- Clown! What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you still eating that goddamn chocolate? Sorry, guys. Post Renaissance conflicts. Really? Ah! And what about the Faking gay. <laughs> I took all the way to Hawthorne, Nevada to find surveillance. So, yeah, guys, uh, long been. story short, <laughs> bars are evil. Move back, fuckers. I know how to scream. Donnie. 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 Oh my god. Stay with us. Stay with us. Don't just stand there. Call a fucking ambulance or something. By the time Clive finished. 
figured out the dangerous side effects of his candy, he needed someone to take the fall for him. Eddie's a dickbag, but he would never harm someone unprovoked like he did in Clive's video. So I went to the jail and found audio of what actually transpired. The people I gave chocolate to killed themselves because clowns are shit. She loved clowning with me, and for once, the whole world is gonna see things through her eyes! You're fucking crazy, you know that? Only so the person who made the blah blah bars is innocent. But we know the truth! Let's do this! Wait, what are we doing again? We're gonna go bust my friend out of that asylum. What do you say? Well, they said no, but I'm gonna just record all this myself and then send it to them later. Well, here we are. After tw 12 hours of GPS fuck-ups. Hey! Do you have any ID? No. Alright. Oh, I swear to God, if that will bite my ass, my ass is going to bite back. Oh, now, it's her. I got this job for a reason. Oh, I knew it was going to bite She's innocent. <sighs> if I die today, just know that I did it saving my best friend. And I hope that I get famous. Well, it looks like we have a special guest on this episode, kids. Oh my God, it's you. <laughs> It's me, Daniel. Daniel? <laughs> she fed him the- she fed him the bar. What the hell are you doing here? I'm getting you guys out. You ever stick a clown horn in your ass? What's wrong with him? They keep shooting him up with that drug the chocolate has. Halifax Harbosis. Yeah, whatever the fuck you said. They keep him sedated on it every hour so that he fucking constantly thinks he's a clown. We have to get him out of here. Help me! I'm not going anywhere. I'm a steel clown! Hey! What the fuck is happening here? Uh-oh. Unless they hand their drugs. <laughs> Wait, uh, I'll do it. Well, hey, I'm my sugar low anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Ah, shit, Mark, let me get him up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm the clown, I'm the clown, I'm the clown. I'm the clown. I'm the clown. I'm the clown. Where the fuck am I? Oh god. So it's her. Yeah, it is her. Eddie's in in innocent. Eddie's innocent. What's the plan now, Eddie? The owner of the asylum is is the imposter. You've risked enough tonight just getting us out of here. This is not your fight. We must stand alone, together. That performance was pretty good. Huh? You like that? <laughs> Let's make it a new movie. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. What? Huh? Day, the new blah blah bar is coming to you. He's still gonna release that ass candy tomorrow. Oh, we gotta stop him. Let's go. Come on, come on. No, 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 you stay here. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I really like the blah blah blah. It's good enough for me. I cannot eat just one damn bar. I must have two or three. I... What's up, ugly? Eddie. Don't you know no one likes clowns? You're, you're not supposed to be here. No, no, no. You're not supposed to be here. You kids think this cocksucker is your hero? He put up oh, God. bars for a crime we didn't commit, and now he's gonna pay out his ass. What the fuck? Ah! You're Run, to kids! Can we talk about this in my office? Close the door. Let's talk money. How much you want? No negotiating, motherfucker. You're going to prison jail for what you've done to us and those candy bars they never see in the light of day. Actually, no, it's him I'm and gonna, the I'm woman. I'm going to walk out of here as a man who saved a group of children from a murderous psychopath. What the fuck are you talking about? No, Eddie! Don't shoot her! Oh, oh my god. Civilian, Eddie Oswald can't hurt you anymore. Uh. What the? 
eight months later. Well, don't we here at the news feel like a bag of dicks for accusing Eddie Oswald uh, of murder? I knew Eddie was innocent. I said it on tape. I did show the tape. Put it on your website. Oh, you mean eatmyassjoe.org? <laughs> uh, don't laugh at that. I'm with the clown that America now knows to be innocent, Eddie Oswald. So, Eddie, how does it feel finally not being a killer? Well, Connie, I never was a killer. Never said you were. You did. I beg to differ. Well, you better beg harder. Let's move on. And there it is. Guys, it feels great being innocent. Uh huh. Does it? It fucking does. Yeah. I now have my own video game, which made enough money for me to open. Let me my guess, own blah blah crush or something. In memory of my dead girlfriend, but we got sued because apparently there's some other place that has a similar look. And thanks to his contribution to the doc, Daniel is now one of the most prolific filmmakers in Tinseltown. I just okay. want That's to great. congratulate you with the incredible and outstanding success with your career. It's just unbelievable. Streamy amazing. awards. Thank you so much. Do you have one last message for the boys and girls that you frightened? Well, not to the boys and the girls, but my women and my men and my non-binary friends when life gets you scared and your pants get soaked it's all wasted fear because kids it's all one big joke it is everything's a joke it's a joke Anyway, guys, yeah, that was the finale. That was a really good finale. So, uh, yeah, that was really good. Um, w perfect way how to end off the documentary. And uh, yeah, go subscribe to Brandon. Make sure you uh, watch the original video link. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel, and make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss another upload. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Deuces. Thank you.